Okay, so it is 623, September 19th. Howdy y'all from Houston. I want to show y'all this water line right here. I'm coming back up uh, Clay Road. And since I figure I'm going up against the grain, I might be able to see some things. But from the looks of it, I still can't get down Highway, uh, highway 6 any farther than where I was able to. The road is just simply cut off, barricaded in such a way I can't. I can't really get back there comfortably. But, I don't know what that was. There is something up here that I thought was pretty interesting. I'm heading, uh, let's see, I'm at the corner. This is Glendale again at Pine Forest Lane. I showed y'all this before. I don't know if maybe y'all haven't seen that video or not. But, this is up here at the corner of Pine Forest and uh, Highway 6, just south of Clay Road. slow down because there's nobody here. You can see this is where they're dumping. You seem to tell me otherwise, so I'm going to go ahead and roll in there for a second. Again, I don't have four-wheel drive, so I don't want to get stuck, but... All they can do is tell me to get out. I don't see any posted or anything. I don't see a lot of people parked back here either, though. I don't know how much of this I want to go through. Probably not much, I'll tell you that. Probably, like, not a lot more than what I already have. I got another truck coming. I'm all in the way. Uh, apparently, I need to move, so I am. But yeah, you can see big pile up over here. My goodness, that's a lot of stuff. Big trucks like that coming in and out. They got them waiting. It's a pretty steady stream. Here's another crew coming in right here. I wonder if he's waiting to come in. He looks like he's waiting to come in. There's one leaving. Won't be long. Boy, that stuff's putrid back there too. Woo! So yeah, that's the corner right up here. Right across from the golf course. So. Man, I'll tell you, it makes me want to bring a bicycle. I see a truck that's hauling butt down there, though. It makes me want to give it a shot. He is flying down the road over there, too. It sure does make me want to give it a shot. I don't know. Again, all they can really do is pretty much tell me to go back. So, I love you, honey. So, on a road nobody sells us really see it much of. I have to go back here for a week. I don't know how much wind I'm picking up on that mic. Um, water's receded quite a bit. It was floating up here next to us last time. Yeah, look over there. Let's get this side first. Oh yeah, it's still pretty high. It is still pretty high. Uh -huh. I got somebody flying up behind me. 
I'm just hoping I'm not getting in trouble here. Lawbreaker like me, I think. Wow, you can see the mud line on these trees, though. Unbelievable. Let's see what this is looking like. Hey, that's mostly out from under now. And right up here was as far as we were able to get to. So let's find out where we can get to now. Grounds. Harris County Congressman Bill Archer Park. I am coming up at Grosky, Patterson. I think that's a uh, war, war memorial or uh, well, that's it. Look, airport, rut row. Yep, looks like I'm coming up. To as you go. Oh, it's not picking up pretty good, is it? Yeah, it's not bad. See the water is still over the road right here. I just saw that suburban come right through here, so I know you can make it. I know I can make it. I'm higher up. Uh, oh my goodness, but there's something I want to deal with. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that right there. That right there is what I call roadblock. I can see that Suburban's way up there. I know my wife's already freaking out though, so. Look at that. But yeah, it's right to the, look how it disappears right at the road. There's nobody here right this second. I'm gonna hop out for a second. You stay still, right? Nope, you're gonna stay right there, buddy. See, I got my other side kicked today. Toto dog. You can see, man, my goodness. Gotta keep watching, make sure nobody's coming. Wow. So that right over there, um, that's the bridge to the levee, I do believe. I mean, right yonder, that's that's I-10. I'm pretty sure. That's looking back at Patterson. But yeah, you can see the roads road does still have water over it and it's right here at the levee bridge right the at the uh, levee entrance that's, oh that's right there airplanes right there it sounds like there's boats going back there but it's the airport i wonder if you could get to the airport from here now last time i came through here the access to the airport was cut off as well All right, so I'm going to back it up. Bear with me for a moment. I'm going to turn it around. See, 
I should speed that up and make me look like I'm a stunt man. So yeah, anyways, this is the it's ugly. The road's getting clear, but it's it's ugly. Look at all that debris over there. That's looking towards where the levee would be. I said this is Patterson Road here. And it's still flooded through. Let's take a look right here. Hey, that road's open. I see somebody down there. That road's open. There's somebody driving down there. It's actually a pretty scene. Wow, it's actually a beautiful scene except for the barricades. It's actually a pretty, pretty nice area out here. So, yeah, this is, uh, drying out it ain't there yet but we knew that let's see this is the uh, 19th one more week or so it'll be um, a month since the hurricane since day one I guess of the hurricane Got a motorcyclist. That's a good way to get around back there. I don't know. He's going to get slopping wet back there in a minute if he cuts through, unless he's going to the airport. But yep, this is uh, Highway 6 past the barricades. I'm now heading back north to Clay Road. There's the scene looking out to Bear Creek Park and the. Uh, golf course and all that's back over there. And looking back towards where Hickory Downs would be is back over that direction. So, this area here is drying out pretty good actually. So I'm back right now at Pine Forest. I'm gonna head down now to Eldridge. I know Eldridge is still under because I just talked to a friend of mine. He told me that it was still under. But I'm gonna go ahead and head over there right now and uh, see what I can see. Wow, the road's really nasty right here. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. It's all those roads, it's all those trucks. Those trucks dredging through all that mud. They're tracking it all the way out to here. Now this road's getting all tore up. Way to go. See all these businesses over here? That's where I was able to get to like just two weeks ago. Just for context for people that don't live around here. If you see my other video, see that mud line on the back. I don't know if it's coming in or not. All right, now I know pretty good I can go up Clay Road, so I'm gonna head up Clay Road. This will be the first time I head that way, and I'm I'm not committing infractions, so this ought to be interesting. That tanning, dark tan or whatever it was, it looks like it just gave up. All these businesses are trashed. All of them. Look at the mud line on there. So you can see that was just an island. There's still a, oh my goodness, I can't imagine getting stuck out here in rush hour traffic. It's still fragrant. And when I say fragrant, I don't mean lilacs. Oh my God. I'm now heading, I'm now inside Attic's Reservoir. This has not been open since uh, like last Friday when I came through here, it was closed right back over here. I came down this road, but I wasn't supposed to. You can see farther down there, it's still all flooded out, if it comes in or not. I don't know if that's a water trap or not, can't tell you because I don't golf, sorry. Nothing against it. 
I got kids. I can't afford it. So, now I'm over an area that would have been um, as deep as the truck uh, and a half. And you can still see all that water back there. All oh, that fragrant, stagnant water right there. Look at this. Van Sant Lane. I'd still love to know what this is. I don't know, it's not marked. I don't know if it's just a bridge over a lake. I don't know exactly what this is. If this is a creek, technically, or what? I'll be coming up on War Memorial here in a minute. But yeah, that, that's not grass, even though it's green, that's water. So this is pretty much as far as I was able to go the other day. That's where the car was all stuck in the water. And right up here around the corner, I couldn't really come without interfering with the road crew. But I had a feeling I'd be able to get through here. Now, I do believe I'm coming up on Eldridge. And Eldridge Parkway, next intersection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slow up. I'm gonna throw on the old hazards. And they're gonna be like, yeah, but you can't turn down there. Maybe. I could maybe get down there. I don't know, man. I could maybe get down there. Looks like I could get into an opening there. Maybe an opening there. I don't know. But as you can see, Eldridge, at least on this end of it, looks pretty, pretty open. I had a bunch of people coming, so I'm just going to hang tight for a second. Now, this might be easier to do with less witnesses. But Clay Road's a busy road, and this is the thing, look, this road's just now open and it doesn't have two of its main thoroughfares that feed into it open right now. Look how, look how much traffic is on it. That's it, 20 minutes to seven. I'm gonna wait till the light turns red. Green, I mean, and I'm gonna see if I can't get around and through any area. If I can, I'm going to feed into it. I think I might be able to thread right through there. Just hang on one second. So I should probably cut this, but... Is 40 miles an hour. I won't break. I won't break the law. Uh, speed limit. I mean. So um, yeah. So here I am on Eldridge. Right off. Go ahead and south from Clay Road. 
I'd be heading towards, I guess, uh, maybe maybe Grosky or Patterson. If not, then maybe I'll be coming up on I-10 past over here. I'm not really sure. This is not really an area I go through a lot. I avoid it because it's got a lot of traffic. But that's kind of the point. There's a lot of people that are not able to come down this road. Which right now I'm kind of surprised by. I mean, it looks pretty open. What is that? It's a closed road. Private road. Median seems to be popping up over here. Starting, looks like starting to see a little bit of grass right there. Or it could just be silt deposits, you never know. But it does look like there is a bit of a bank there. I'm going to head to the middle here. Um, I am definitely coming to a water on both sides of the road situation. God, I hate this feeling. No, I'm not lying. I do not. This is... Creepy feeling to me. Where am I at? I'm on the other side of War Memorial. That's looking down War Memorial. Oh my god, dude, this is creepy. This is creepy. <laughs> I do not feel like I should be uh, back here. Trusted, trusting in rugged engineering that nothing will go wrong with this road. Of course, I have to turn around, I'm guessing, and come back the other way. I don't think I'm making it through over here. I don't have a reason to think I would. Wow, this is a... Sorry, guys, this is going to be a long video, but... I have I have I have like 10 12 minutes left so oh my god I'm coming around to I-10 I I'm coming around to I-10 and you know they had to have been back here cleaning the road off they must have been back here cleaning off the road because this road, there's no way this road was this clean. I saw this road. There's no way this road is this clean unless they were back here cleaning it off. Which gives me, right lane closed ahead, which gives me a little bit of faith in the road. Because it just had big trucks back here cleaning stuff off the road. I don't see any uh, of the debris over here. I'm about to make it back over to I-10. At that point, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh my God. Look, there's a current. The water has a current here. This is why the road's not open. But a day or two more, maybe? A day or two more? I mean, look at it. The road is just... Sorry, I know this is going to be a long freaking video. But, this may be one of the most interesting ones I've shot so far. It's, it's sundown in Houston, Texas on the bayou. I mean, um, I mean, I could be boating down a bayou. Oh. My. Goodness. Yeah, I can see there were there were tree limbs and stuff over here. Okay, I, I don't know what's gonna happen when I get over here. I'm assuming I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and hopefully be able to get through a barricade. Is 
that over there is where the spillway gate is. And that's looking east. Looking east. Looking west. Not seeing any policemen. Not seeing any barricades back over here. They must be further up on the road. And so my question is, can I get through here? Do I even want to? Do I want to go back? You know, I'm looking. Okay, folk, there's I-10. <laughs> and one thing I don't want to do is go over on I-10 because no. <laughs> That's why, because no, because it's just no. So there it is right there. I've got a couple of minutes in the pod. Let me see if I can, <laughs> I'm gonna go back up here to Eldridge and go back up Clay Road and go out that way, because that's really the way I need to go. So anyways, let's see if there's, I'll take another shot of it. This was the shot that I took going over the Saturday of the morning that the hurricane hit land for us, and we began to at least feel it. This is almost exactly the video that I took. I am, for the first time, able to get across this road, even though this road is in no way, shape, or form passable. Not safe. It is not safe for passage. Yeah, high water, no shit. No doubt. There's literally waves of water slowly lapping at the road here. It's like a big reserve plane and they're gonna be they're like they're like radio and there is somebody back over there driving down the road. They are sending out search parties to get me right now. Fast forward it and you just slowed down to see what in the world I'm looking at. I am heading north on Eldridge, heading away from I-10. If you back it up, you'll see I just came away from I-10. I found this road to be passable, but there's definitely water over. This is at Patterson. Isn't that the truth? Water over road. You can see where it's coming up to. Yeah, it's probably about knee deep in some spots.
Saints uh, about a month and a half ago, two months ago. I hope all the animals are okay. I'm sure they took care of them, right? games, baseball games. This is all uh, woods. So, I'm coming back up to play. appreciate everybody that's been watching and subscribing and sharing it's been incredible it's been it's been fun to do this and I'm glad I've uh, hopefully I've helped some people along the way it seems I have and hopefully my uh, my footage is interesting to some people you know but more than anything I'm hoping I I have it down for history's sake look back years from now and and see that this 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 is what it was like and how people overcame it it's been an incredible story for Houston and uh, it's a story that's still being written but it's an incredible story so anyways that's it for me I'm gonna shoot this up it's long enough as it is um, I will be checking again here soon and again I'm gonna be looking to get a video up on the creeks and what the creeks look like you know we just got some rain yesterday and I'm sure it wasn't an inch worth of rain, but it was pretty good, good amount of rain. But man, the creeks filled up so fast. All the ditches and everything filled up so fast, we still can't absorb anymore. So we're still not out of the woods yet for any kind of major storms. We don't need a hurricane to really...